This is example number two on helical uh, compressive springs. In this particular example, uh, what we have is a spring with an active uh, uh, 12 active coils. So Na is equal to 12. Uh, a spring index of, of 9, so spring index is 9, has a, is experiencing a static load of 50 pounds and has a deflection, uh, has a delta uh, deflection of uh, 0.5 inches. Okay? So what we're going to assume is this is your delta F. So this is about after the preload is applied. Your G is given in the problem. It says 1.2, 10 to the 7. Um, just know that if I put 12, I put 1.2 to the 7. So that's why you know it looks awkward. And he's just saying find your theoretical theoretical wire diameter. So it's asking to find D, uh, and he's asking to find your mean uh, spring diameter. Uh, and it says to assume the load includes the design factor. So therefore, we don't need to multiply this by any factor. Uh, so the first thing <clears throat> we know in the problem is that your your delta deflection will be given A times the delta F C cubed NA, acting number of coils, GD. Okay? That can go from here. I can solve for D. And your D is equal to A times delta F C cubed and A uh, G divided by delta Y. And if I plug in all the numbers here, you find I get 8. This is 50. This is 9 cubed. This is 12. This is 1.2 10 to the 7. Don't forget about the units. And this is 0.5. It's also given in the problem. So that gives you 0.3. Uh, if we had more information, we would choose the wire gauge. But we don't know material. We don't know anything. So we can just stop right here. Um, to find your mean diameter, your mean diameter is C times D. That gives you 9 multiplied 0.5. 2 force uh, uh, 0 0.583, and that gives you 5.247 inches. So this concludes this example. It's pretty straightforward and gives you an idea how to use the equations.